Alright guys, I am here at Stanley's Los Angeles Comic Con with Camila at her booth. And I see a lot of beautiful artwork. I always walk into artist alleys and there's, I always spot beautiful artwork. But yours always draws me and I can spot yours from like a mile away. You have like this distinct, beautiful style. I love it. So what do you think differentiates your artwork from a lot of the other artists? Well, I do a lot of my original content, so I think a lot of artists here work for Marvel, DC, or they're doing fan art for Marvel or DC, you know? Um, but my art is very, um, well, it's Japanese inspired, which is just not a lot of that here. And also the fact that my art is traditional, so I do paintings. Uh. And um, uh, so my, my work, it has that kind of quality where you don't think it's digital, or you don't you think it's like a watercolor painting, but it's actually a watercolor oil painting. So I think that's okay. really where that color comes in, and the fact that I'm obsessed with color. <laughs> nice. Yeah, you even have, um, I noticed aside from all the prints and stuff you guys got, you even have a couple of books. Tell us about yes. some of your original books here. Oh, totally. Um, so, Tempo is my original creator on series, and it's based on literature, um, which is really neat. I've never seen any other publishers or authors do that, where they, they take classic um, stories, and then I remake them into this narrative about a little girl without any emotions. So, like, if you check out the book, it's, it's kind of like a... Um, If poetry and manga had a love child, that's what this, this would be. be. Yeah. yeah, totally. So, this is one of my, um, this is the second book um, to a five part story. And I was showing you this picture, I think it's really fun. But, uh, there he is, the Mask of Red Death. So, he's so mean, honestly. Um, so, this is one of my um, books here. This is my, my uh, creator own series. So, I do all of the writing, the art for it. Um, okay. And then this year, I came up with three books. Uh, which is, what's a coloring book? Oh, yeah. yeah. I had a friend who had this. She keeps posting uh, pages oh, really? up every time she colors it online. So, yeah. so when people are doing that, I haven't actually had time to do any coloring. Oh. <gasps> I know, I should be. I'm so bad. I haven't colored my own book. <laughs> um, but this is brand new. And then this is my uh, painting book. So this is a step-by-step -step on how, how to paint, which is really cool. So it's a guide for artists um, to learn how uh, how I do I you know my techniques oh, step by step yeah step by step I'm going backwards but <laughs> that, so it's also um, like a cool behind the scenes you know on how like a professional artist like myself works okay and then this is um, my newest art book which is published by Dark Horse oh, and cool. it has um, a collection of my my paintings um, and sketches from 2012 to 2015. Oh, nice. So that's just a giant collection of your work? Yeah, exactly. Uh, so those are the brand new books that I have this year. Okay. Oh, and here at the convention, yeah. you actually have an exclusive print this year. I do, I do. Or another exclusive <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> I've got a few. So I did the cover for the book program guide. Okay. So Stan Lee, um, it's a parody of Norman Rockwell, but Stan Lee is Norman Rockwell. So. And he's the one doing the painting. Yeah, he's the one doing the painting. Uh, okay. So it's Stanception, if you want to call it. I don't know. <laughs> So uh, yeah, just tell the viewers where they can find your work online. Yeah, you can find my work. Um, I'm on Instagram as Camila Drico. You can go to CamilaDrico.com. I'm Helmet Girl on Twitter, and I've also got a Facebook, which is again CamilaDrico.com or Camila Drico, and then slash Facebook. So yeah, there's lots of ways to get to me. Yeah. <laughs> All right, right on. Well, thank you for your time. Yeah, thank you so much. And thank you for the art. Yeah, thanks.